This is another one from the school where we um, we wrote with with kids who had just read books about um, incredible women, and this book uh, was about Maya Lin, the artist and architect of many things, but the Vietnam Nam War Memorial um, was the one we we really focused on, and it was so interesting as we're talking about to to realize kind of midway through, Paul and I thought, wow, you know. Obviously, they, they don't know about Vietnam, but they're seeing more for the first time. So to, to help them process what they're seeing um, on their TVs and, and hearing at their dinner tables. So this is called There's a Place We Go to Remember. There's a place we go to remember a wound in the earth that needs healing A wall that holds the memories And all our feelings Fifty-eight thousand soldiers gave their lives Fifty-eight thousand names carved in stone May they always be remembered May they always be known Stone doesn't disappear But it slowly changes shape As the light fades away Our memories don't dim They keep shining in our hearts In our minds they're always with us They're such a gift to us there's a place we go to remember A wound in the earth that needs healing A wall that holds our memories And all our feelings Fifty-eight thousand soldiers gave their lives Fifty-eight thousand names carved in stone May they always be remembered May they always be known In the silence of the stone We hear all their whispering souls Guiding us along On our one true path Through the forest and the snow Though the healing may be slow We'll come back to what we know There's a place we go to remember A wound in the earth that needs healing A wall that holds the memories And all our feelings Fifty-eight thousand soldiers gave their lives Fifty-eight thousand names carved in stone May they always be remembered May they always be known There's a place we go to remember wow. oh, Come on I was, I know, I, it's a really hard one not to just <laughs> ugly cry through when they, we were writing it with them, Paul and I, we, we held it together pretty well. Just, um, I, yeah, I, I, I've got, my eyes are full right now. Yeah. It's a lot, it's a lot, but to know really what I said to the, it helped us process it too, you know, but for them, whoa, to see them transform through that and the poetry of it, just to. Fourth grade. I was fourth grade. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Astonishing. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's uh, how we really process things uh, through art, uh, because we can step back from the material of our lives and give it meaning and shape yeah. it some, and uh, uh, that helps us heal. Uh, mm. And that anything's possible, you know, the, the sort of magic that we always instill in them is that we say, you know, look at this thing that wasn't here two days ago that's now here that you made. And what a magical thing.
you know that it's a it's not a recreative process it's a creative process and they'll have that forever hmm.